In this training, I will show you how to build a squeeze page just like this one here using Optimize Press. I built this web page over a year ago using Optimize Press and it has worked out perfectly for me. And so before you follow these steps, I'm assuming that you've already followed the directions above on how to set up your website in three easy steps. And so now you have selected a domain name and registered it. You've installed WordPress onto that domain name, and then you've installed the Optimize Press theme onto WordPress. Okay. So assuming you've done those three things, go ahead and continue on with this training and I'll show you how to build a squeeze page just like this one. Okay. So first things first, log into the back end of your WordPress site with the Optimize Press theme installed on it. So to do that, as you probably already know from following the trainings, you type in your new website name. I have wholesaleusahomes.com as my new name that I'll be using for this example. And then type forward slash. So the, the new domain name forward slash WP dash admin. And so you go there and then it'll pull up this page here. Okay. And so the username and the password will be the name that you got earlier when you installed WordPress. Okay. So go ahead and log in. Now, assuming that you have optimized press installed properly, you'll be over here on the left hand side. Okay. So hover over optimized press and then just scroll down to page builder. And now create your new page and choose a page name. So for the name of this page, I'm just going to write join my buyers list. Okay. And then you could choose to either build a blank page. So start with a blank slate or choose a template that's already laid out for you. Let's just go ahead and select a template and then we'll scroll down to opt-in pages. Okay. Cause that's what we're building. And so let's just go ahead. You could choose whatever one you want, but for this example, we'll just select this one here. Okay. So then scroll down to the bottom and hit proceed to step two. All right. Now that we have selected the template, it's very easy to customize it. All you have to do is hover over the section that you'd like to change, hit this little pencil tool here, and you could uh, write in there whatever you want. So as a reference here, I have for the heading buy investment properties in Utah. And so I'll just go ahead and uh, write buy investment properties in the United States. Okay. So buy investment properties in the United States. And then we could change the size here if you'd like, and you could also change the color. Let's go ahead and make it a little different. Let's do make this one blue instead of green. So we'll use that blue color. You could choose if you want it, how you want it aligned and everything. Okay. Then go ahead and hit insert. And as you see, there's your new heading for your webpage. And then the next step. Okay. So offering steep discounts to cash buyers. So we'll click the little pencil tool here. Once again, you can choose the color or whatever you want, hit insert. And there you go. And so I'm going to continue to go through and just build this whole thing out. But if you're more of the type who just likes to get in there and, and figure things out, it's not very hard to figure out. It's a pretty, pretty cool. So just get in there and play around with it. Um, if you have a video that you want to upload, you could upload that here. In this case, I actually just have a picture there. So what you could do is you could just delete the video spot. You could hit add element and then choose whatever element you want to put there. In this case, we're going to, you know, put an image there 
So let's do image. Choose the layout that you want the image. So if you want like this little, you know, Polaroid, Polaroid looking image behind the picture, you could do that. Select the image that you want. So we'll just, uh, from the computer, select the file that you want to use there. So squeeze page demo. And we'll just use one of these, okay. All right, and then, so just scroll down and hit insert into post. And then scroll down and hit insert. And there you go. So you got the picture there, and then you have the opt-in form here on this side. And so it says join our buyer's list. Change that. Okay, so join our buyer's list. And then you could go to um, advanced options here. And this is how you could change the color and the size and everything. So let's make the size bigger. Let's do like uh, 35 pixels. We want to center that. Um, and then for the color, let's just do that same blue color. And then, you know, let's change the font as well. How about this one here? And then insert that. And so there you go, join our buyers list, okay? And then if you want to change this button to, you know, match how you want it to look, you could uh, customize this form as well, the opt-in form. But first things first, um, you know, we need to set it up. So email data, so integration type email data. Um, follow the steps below to to integrate this with your uh, email autoresponder. You'll see those on the, on the next sections. But for now, you could just have all the opt-ins be emailed to you, uh, whatever email address that you want. And so I'll just type in support. support at wholesalingtoolbox.com. So now anytime that somebody opts into this form, I'll get an email here, okay? And then if you have a thank you page, uh, you could type that here. So they'll opt in and then they'll be taken to the uh, um, thank you page. So I'll just put thank you.com, whatever your thank you page address is, put it there. Okay, so we have that and now if you want to change the way the submit button looks, click on submit button and then you can either keep it the same color that it is down there and change the, the text or you can completely customize it. Okay, so we'll create a custom button here. So the text, whatever you want to say, I think for this one it says subscribe. So we'll uh, We'll do that. So right here. Subscribe. Okay. And then let's change the color of the text. So we'll just make it white. And then for the styling, the border color, eh, let's just do a white border. Um, color let's do like some kind of a blue for both of these and you could customize them exactly how you want so as you see you can kind of see what it looks like um, if you want to make it skinnier you know or 100 percent across and then you see how like it has like all these effects on it. So you could make it, you know, you could turn off the shadows, turn off all of this stuff, inner shadow, turn off the shine, and then you're just left with a really simple button here. And you could customize it to make it look however you want to fit your style, okay? And then just hit insert. And there you go. You got your custom opt-in form here. 
if you want to get more information from the sellers, you can, or from the buyers, you can. You click on the content tab and uh, go to the advanced. Actually, like I said, it's been a year since I've done this. Oh yeah, here you go. Add new field. So you could ask for their address if you want. And you choose the order that you want it on. So let's say third, and you could choose whether you want it record, required or not. And so there you go. There is your opt-in form. Okay. I'm going to delete that third one there. Okay. All right. So we have the, the top part built and then below that, it looks like we have just some information here. And so let's create this part here. So buy properties 20 to 40% below market value. Okay. So add element. And then for that one is a feature box. Okay. So you could choose whatever you want the feature box to look like. In this example, I used this one here and then choose the title that you want. Twenty to forty percent below below market value. Okay, and then for the content, we'll just copy and paste that. <clears throat> um, I noticed that for the titles, you want to type them in manually. If you don't, then it, you have a hard time formatting them. For just uh, bodies of text, you could literally just copy and paste. And so we'll just paste that in. And then if we want to change this color here, we could go to the advanced options, change the size of that. Let's make it like 33. Um, and then the color, let's just do that blue color. And insert that. There you go. It's a little big, but you could go in and change the size of that however you want. Um, and then what else do we got here? All right, so we have these bullet points here. And so this is a heading. So let's add another heading here. Or a headline, okay. And then we'll just write what to expect choose the size that you want choose the color whether you want it centered or not okay so what to expect or here's what you'll get is what I had but you get the idea and then we'll add an element here and then we'll just do a bullet block Now, as you'll see, I have these arrows going to it. These are the only two options that you get, but you could uh, customize it to put whatever icon you want. So if you have a little favicon or something that you want to use, feel free to do that. For this example, I'll just choose those. Uh, you could upload uh, whatever design you want right here though. So we'll insert that. Oh. Try that again. Okay, choose that one and then go to, oh yeah, we have to add some items there. Okay, so for the first one, we'll just copy and paste these. Obviously, put your own content in there. Um, add new. Currency. Add more. Okay, and then last one. All right, so now we got all those in, go ahead and just hit insert. And there you go. Um, one thing that I just noticed is this is kind of is gray back here and it's white up here. On this one, it's all white. And so you could actually make 
the background of each row, whatever color you want. And so we'll just come here and edit that. And so here is the row background color. We'll just make that white and hit update. And there you go. It's now white behind. Okay. What do we need next? Okay. So it looks like we have a uh, social sharing buttons here. Um, but they're right in the middle as opposed to, you see here, it says add element here, add an element here, but how do you, you know, put it in the middle like these ones here. And so what you do is you just create a, a new row, add new row, and then we're going to do a one column row to get it right there in the middle. And then go ahead and hit insert. And so now you see you could add an element right here in the middle. In this case, we're going to add the, the social buttons. Okay, so social sharing, choose the style that you want. You know, there's all kinds that you could choose from. I'm just going to go with these ones here. Um, then put in your Facebook uh, page URL. I don't really know what mine is. So I'm just going to type some stuff in. Um, Twitter. Yeah, so go through and put in all your social profile pages. And then just go ahead and insert that. And there you go. So you got that there so people could share your page for you. And one little tip is if you want to see kind of, you know, there's a lot of this extra space here, but if you want to see what it would look like, then you could hide the controls and then you could see kind of how the spacing looks. Um, also click save and continue every now and then just to make sure that you don't lose what you've been working on and to see what it actually will look like. You could hit view public link anytime you want and this is what it would actually look like on the uh, on the in interweb okay all right so what's next looks like we got a couple more pictures and then this form down here so we're we're getting close um, by now you probably have the idea and you could just continue on on your own uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish this thing out so come down here and then we'll show the controls again so that we could make some changes and it looks like okay so there's a heading and then there's two columns so we will add another element here we will add the headline and that says examples of properties offered in 2014 I should probably update that. So we'll do 2015 because that's when I'm making this video. So, okay. Examples of properties offered in 2015. Choose the size that you want, the color, if you want it centered, and insert that. So you notice though, like there's this, uh, it's really close to that. So to add some space, all you need to do is click add element, scroll down to, uh, what was that called? The vertical spacing. Okay. And so you could just insert some vertical space and you could press this button here and you could just, you know, you could drag anything you want, wherever you want. Um, but yeah, so to get that space there, we'll just do that. And then we're going to need to add a new row that has two columns. And then for these two columns, because we're doing these pictures here, we'll add an element. Images. We'll do that. And then... Uh, select the image that you want. I'm just going to use the one that we uploaded earlier for this example. So you can either do it from your computer, but I'm just going to go to the media library here. Choose this one. Insert into the post. Then just scroll down and insert that. 
And then what you could do, I mean, you'll put another picture there or whatever you want, however you want to build it out. But if you press this button here, we'll actually copy whatever that element is. So now you see there's two of them and I'll just drag one over here. Okay. So now that we have that part built out, looks like we're down to the very bottom here. Um, common questions. And so add another row, single column, insert into page, add element, and we'll do headline. And FAQ, whatever size that we want it to be, color, insert that, and then looks like we have two columns here. And so we'll add a new row with two columns, insert into post, and then add an element. And for that element, I used content toggle. Okay, and so we select that, and then the text that you want to show will be the question. So we'll just paste that in there, and then what we want it to hide would be the answer. Okay, and so we'll just go ahead and insert that, and there you are. We could add another one, content toggle. We want to show here. Okay, and then what you want to hide. Okay. And there you go. Uh, to save time, I'm just going to duplicate several of these same ones. Okay, so there we go. And then one last thing. It looks like I have this gray bar down here. And so then we'll just add a new row single column we will just uh, modify this so go to the settings of that row and then let's just do blue for the row background color oh that's the start and so we'll just leave that uh we'll do the black so row background color start and row background color end you can make them both the same to get the, the solid color but we'll just do ball, so that's what it will look like there. And uh, there you go. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. View public link. And here is your new squeeze page. Uh, you could go in and, and dial it in and make it look exactly how you want it. But as you see, I kind of just uh, threw this together real quick. Actually, we have to hit save and continue if we want to see the changes made. And then hit view public link. And there we go. We got our social share buttons, FAQ. We got the pop down. We got, we got it all. So that's how you build a squeeze page using Optimize Press. Uh, feel free to get in there and play around, customize it, make it fit your brand. And uh, if you have any questions at all, as always, scroll down to the comment section at the bottom of this website and leave them there. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Uh, good luck out there, and I look forward to working with you guys in the future. Take care.